I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to you all of you again and uh, as you see this video is just or this broadcast is just to inform you that we have a, a brother who did finish the translation uh, of my book the deception of Allah into one of the most important Indian languages uh, the Malayalam I don't know how many minions speak this language if somebody can help us with the numbers Maybe we should search in Google to find out. So this brother here, he did a great job translating it for free, for sure. And actually he called himself the uh, Black Cross. And I don't know, somebody said that he have a, a YouTube channel. Maybe you can go and join him too, if you have one. So this is the translation, as you see, and the link is down below. And actually the admin are posting it in the chat. And actually in the same info, you will find a link for many many other translation indonesian uh, russian chinese mandarin whatever you know all uh, albanian croatian uh, you know we have tons of languages my books are translated to and all is for free so feel free to download them and don't forget please download and repost again don't be selfish you know uh, you see there's people who they are doing great job your job is very simple just download and share I mean, it cannot be more simple than this. Uh, I am assuming that the person who downloaded, uh, who did translate this, this, this book, took him a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Now, I understand nothing of this language. Absolutely nothing, you know? But you can tell this person, he really did a lot of work. Even he worked good in the graphic. Uh, even he is posting my uh, other books, you know, and I hope he will work soon in translating the other books too in the same language. So here we review the book, as you see, he made it a very nice, you know, like uh, written nicely, uh, uh, very well organized, uh, topic after topic. Uh, I, cannot, I cannot complain actually at the, the way the book is designed. And I have to say thank you for this person who called himself a black cross uh, for this hard work he did, you know. Uh, so make an English translation of my book. My book is in, trans in English, my friend, wise man. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, so here actually, and not only that, it take more time because he had to take photo a shot of all the Arabic text because usually uh, you know when you use Microsoft Word and you save the file and then you open it again you will find all the Arabic is messed up so he took as you see screenshot and he reposted you know this is take take really a lot of time so I really appreciate his work and uh, if you stop by this person if you know his YouTube channel tell him Thank you very much. 
and uh, the link is down below for the free guys to download uh, how many millions they speak this language it is search actually I'm, I'm really interested to know Malayalam language how many millions people they speak it yeah I don't know even how to say the word correctly uh, Mal Ayalam Ayalam How many spoke it or speak it? Okay, so this is uh, in in a uh, in uh, in the state of Kerala, in the state of Kerala, and the state of Kerala is thirty four million people. Thirty four million people. I don't know if this is spoken language in other states too in India. You know, India have many. Uh, Languages, many ethnics. I, mean, I think they have like four hundred, something like that. So you know, India is is a, is a huge country. So according to Google, there's thirty four millions speak that uh, language in the state of Ker 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 uh, Kerala, Kerala, as you see here. I just I don't know it. This is what it says here. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, I'm not going to keep you long. This is I will keep it short because we want to keep this video here. We will not talk about any other topic. And as you see, uh, we have the books in other languages too. Now all my books is written in English, right? But we have them translated to uh, French, German, Portuguese, Spanish, uh, Chinese, Indonesian, etc. Uh, and all the countries which I believe there are people who live there are poor. I'm giving it absolutely for free <clears throat> because remember at the end of the day somebody have to pay for our bills right so those who they are poor and they cannot really help us anyway you know why we don't give them the books for free uh, I was so glad to see my book in the Russian language I was so happy to see it in the Chinese and soon we will have a, a six on Allah uh, in Chinese too. There is somebody working in it. And actually there's some uh, 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 Christian, you know, uh, uh, team, as I've been told or told, they are working in my book translation into Korean language. So I hope that will be done very soon. And uh, I hope we will cover all languages in the world. And then let the knowledge spread around and swim. And nobody can fool people after that actually the deception of Allah alone if somebody really study it really good I guarantee you to become the best scholar in Islam you know more about Islam than Muhammad himself because what is written there it is supported by Islamic books reference Muslim cannot deny same time we collected, yes, Japanese. If somebody speaks Japanese, please. You know, if you know somebody speaks Japanese, you are willing to do it, you know, please. We would love to see a Japanese copies because the Muslim trying to fool people in Korea, in Japan, etc. So if you speak Japanese and you really like to serve the Lord, then contact me in Patreon and start immediately translating my book into Japanese. All right? So I really, I, we want that. So this is one of the languages we did not have it yet. So the deception of Allah is really a very great book, not only to learn how to refute them, it's really give you extreme knowledge. Extreme. I mean, nobody can really, you see all the Muslim, uh, uh, they call themselves scholars who bought my book. Not a single one of them dare to speak against it. Like there is a kid from Germany, he made a video, eh, just a stupid kid, but nobody there. Shabir Ali, he claimed to be a sheikh. He bought my books. He did not have one complaint. He don't dare to make a complaint. How he can make a complaint? There's some Muslim that says like my book is in Allah. They go to the first page. They say we could not find this quotation. It's a lie. It's a fraud. And then we got them busted in two seconds. They don't even know how to find reference. Yet they claim to be people of knowledge. Can you believe it? They don't know how even to open their books and find reference and posting. 
and then how embarrassment after they make tons of videos about we cannot find this we cannot find this a sexual follow introduction and then in two seconds we got them busted and we show them the reference so uh this is why i say you know uh, ignorance is, is is the enemy of a human being and this is what we are doing here we are fighting the ignorance of people so how many here they are going to copy download the files even language you don't speak my friend because one day you will meet somebody he speaks that language you know what i mean like let us say you don't speak russian but one day you you know you in the internet somebody he says i'm from russia i'm a muslim you give him a link for the copy for free right so don't just go and download the language you speak download download all of them so we can preserve them forever and you can repost them in Gmail and not by the G Drive, and nobody will know who, who is the one who owned this G Drive, right? Yeah, you can you know create a thousand G Drive anyway. It's for free. You call yourself Muhammad Abdul, whatever you know. Create a G Drive and post those books and post them around. Okay. So I'm so happy today. Actually, I I believe actually I just received an email yesterday, and I'm not going to share anything. You know, I'm not permitted to share. But you believe it or not, I just got a, got a donation yesterday from a Muslim family. I got a donation yesterday from a, this one make make me happy about it. It's not the money. It's not how much. It is coming from a Muslim family, a wife and a husband. Both they decide to leave Islam and they accept Christ, and that really make me so happy. That we are in a time where Muslim family are donating for our cause. And they donated $100. Isn't that beautiful? And actually they are, you know, if they are willing to share their experience, they can post, but I don't like to share a private email. Uh, but I was really happy because I got donation from Christians, right? Which is normal that Christians support me. But to receive donation from people who they supposed they Muslims, but thank God they are not Muslim no more. The wife, the husband, they accepted the Messiah and they believe in him and they decide, and this is what I received in the email, that the husband in the beginning, he was in denial, or let us say trying to defend it a little bit, but he could not. It was overwhelming. Proofs and reference in the screen we show. So finally, he decided to leave Islam and now this family, are making donation to Christian press. So I really appreciate uh, what the Lord he gave us. And we, uh, uh, you know, uh, we do our best to open the eyes of people. But at the end of the day, there's only one person who can do that. <clears throat> we share knowledge to fight ignorance, to lead into the truth. But only the Lord, he can really lead people who their heart is open for him. So I'm very thankful for him. I'm very thankful for those people who left Islam and many of them. Here we go. We have an example in the chat, actually. You know all of you, you mad. He make a wonderful videos. You know him, right? The admin. He make a wonderful video. If you did not subscribe to his channel, please don't hesitate. He's an ex-Muslim too. You know, I'm really happy to have this gentleman, him and his family that become Christians. So we have a lot of Muslims leaving Islam, and not only they are leaving Islam, they became a Christian warriors. They defend the faith more than somebody is born as a Christian. So I'm so glad to have those people. The mic again is doing problem. I'm not sure why this microphone is causing problem. Okay, hold on, give me a second. Okay, I hope now the microphone is working better. Yeah, I think I need to buy a new phone. I mean, the microphone is just one year old. I mean, what's wrong with those companies? And it's really costly. I, mean, I think I, I paid like $120 for it. Supposedly I paid something really good. So 
Look like I need to order a new one. Uh, anyway, uh, so I'm very grateful for those people. I'm very grateful that the Lord, he did lead many and many Muslims to the truth. At the end of the day, yes, I'm happy for them, but nobody can measure their happiness because they are out of the faith of Islam. We love the Muslims, and this is why I say to you, you should love them, because if you don't love them, they will not even listen to you. And if you don't love them, you are no Christian. Love your enemy. It was a command of our Lord. It was not a wish. And the way you love them is not by shaking hands and giving them hugs. This is fake love. You shake their faith, which is false faith. Sometimes you have to be even rude to make a person walk up. When you have your son is taking drugs, you have to shake him to wake up. This is what love your enemy mean. It's not about being a hypocrite to the one who worship wrong deity. Those who say, we respect your religion, that's a lie. We don't respect any other belief. Because all other beliefs, according to our belief, is a fraud. And the one who respects a fraud, he's a fraud too. The word respect, I respect your belief, is a sign of hypocrisy. It is a word you say you don't mean. So we don't want to act like those hypocrites. I don't respect your belief, if your belief is not a true belief. Why we don't dare to say that? Because simply in this world today, everybody become hypocrite. Uh, perfectly correct, they call it, right? Nobody dare to say what he believe. I remember once I was, uh, I met with the woman and her husband, and both of them, they work as an accountant, and they are uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. So, you know, when she reached the point that she cannot refute me, she said, please, I respect your belief. I said to her, but I don't respect yours. She was shocked. I mean, she was not, she was expecting me to say, and I respect yours too. <laughs> you know, I said to her in her face, I don't respect your belief because your belief is a lie. How am I going to respect it? Right? So don't respect something you don't believe in it because obviously it's a lie. It's like saying to somebody, I respect your lies. You know what I mean? This is what you are saying. You are saying, I respect your lies. So we don't want to respect lies. We cannot do that. This is why Jesus says, either you say, yeah, yeah, or nay, nay. Anything else is from the devil. So you as a Christian, don't follow the hypocrisy word that we have to be, we have to respect Prophet Muhammad. Why I have to respect him? The guy, he called me animal. He called me filthy. He called me kafir. He called me pig. He called me monkey. I mean, he, he called us the worst of the creatures. And then you say to me, I have to respect such a person. In the top of that, he's a criminal. He's a killer. He's, he's you know, he go after children. I mean, what to respect in this guy? Just because, oh, he present, there's a lot of people believe in him. That is not a reason. That is a reason for the hypocrite. So if Muhammad was followed by a small religion, then we say we don't respect him or a small number of people and they are not, there's no terrorist. You see the hypocrisy? We don't respect liars. Is it true that Muslims they spit in the food to make it halal? It is a depend in the, you know, what they follow exactly. There's tons of things like this in Islam. Yes, some Muslims, they do that. But it's not like unnecessarily. You know, Muhammad, he come with madness of stuff. Uh, anyway, so how many of us today we are going to download the videos? I mean, sorry, the, the books and the listed, they are listed down in the in the info there. I repost them again. Let us see how many of you really are true warrior, not fake a Christian. One day you will meet somebody, he speak Indonesian. What you would do, you would go and start looking for a Christian prince book in Indonesian, but you might not find it. Why? Because you do not know the name in Indonesian language. Same for the Russian. Like now, if I search for the Russian book of a Christian prince, I will not find it. 
because mostly is posted in the Russian language name. So download the video and if you repost it, then you should maybe make it uh, clear, but the link you make, rename the file, Christian Prince Deception of Allah Russian, or uh, you know, like uh, Chinese or whatever, right? So later when people they search for it in the search engine, they can't find it, right? Yeah. So any other question? And again, I'm very grateful for this person who did all this work. Obviously, he did a great job. And as you see, he here, he signed. He is an uh, actually he's an artist. This person, I can tell. You know, for me, I would take me ten century to make a signature like this. Uh, uh, my writing is like a doctor writing. Nobody knows, and Allah knows best what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> so it, this is how he signed his signature, uh, black cross with a very art, you know, artist way with the crosses, and I am the shadow of truth. All right, so this is his signature, and we are, I don't know if he's listening to us right now or not. I don't know the person, I never spoke to him. I have no idea who he is, and I don't need to know, but I appreciate your work, my brother. So we appreciate all the brothers who did the work and the sisters, uh, and I say to you, Happy New Year. And Merry Christmas, even if it's a little bit late. But remember, every day is a Christmas for us. For Christ is a Christmas. So we are people who they are been living happy by his name. This is why you see many people are trying to fight the Christmas because they want you to forget. And by the way, there's one thing. Some people, they do. I want to talk about it in the Christmas time. You will find a, Christmas, a, Christ, a Christian person, Christian person, when he when he uh, make a comment, he say Merry Christmas, but how he type Christmas? He replaced the word Christ with X. That is an insult to Jesus. X Christmas. This is what the atheist trying to do. They don't want you to say the name of Christ anymore. That is an insult in Christ. Never say X. Christ is not X, my friend. Remember that. Many of you, they do not know that it's it's bad. Many of you just say it. But it's not X. It is Christ. Christ is not X and will never be X. Our computer run by the name of Christ. Our date. Your birth. Your salary your clock, your watch, your phone, everything run by his name. So my friends, don't use the word X. I'm not going to keep you long. Please share the books and tell your friends if they are from India, from that state. And I hope soon we will have more translation for other language in India. India is a huge country, need a lot of translation. And let us see, let us make a competition of the good Indian Christians who publish the translation and help us. You can always send me the link of your translation and I will publish it. You choose your language, you speak in India, all right, and you send it to me. I don't know how many languages there, but the more languages we have, and again, we promise to give it for free. We give it for free. For free. The book in front of us is not for sale. It's for free. So I hope people are listening carefully. So uh, I really appreciate all of you, the one who download the videos, the one who download the, the books, the one who made the, uh, the, the translation, and for sure the one who made translation, they did a very tremendous job. This is a lot of work. You have no idea. You see, my books took me a lot of time to write it. Why? Because I'm writing in a language I don't speak. It's not my first language, let us say. So it is very difficult. It's not easy. And then to translate from a language is not yours is going to be the same too. So this is a lot of work. This is why we should support those people and we should pray for them and we should be thankful for their work. 
So again, I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you all. And Ante, we'll see you soon again. Christ is Lord and more books to come. Enjoy your time, family of Christ. And be thankful we are in the age we can reach every house in the world. And nobody can stop us. All days is over. Sharia law cannot stop us. Sharia police is not even exist in Saudi Arabia no more. Saudi Arabia, actually, I will post a video later. Saudi Arabia celebrated for the first time the New Year Eve with a huge party inviting singers from around the world to sing in the New Year evening in Saudi Arabia. So we are coming to a great time and great time is coming to us. Let us witness to him. For us, we don't care for the party, by the way. The party is not really what we need. What we are talking about is a big, huge change is happening in Saudi Arabia. For centuries since Muhammad, who dare even to play music in Saudi Arabia? Who dare even to say Christmas in Saudi Arabia? This is what makes it so exciting. So soon we will have a churches open, just wait. Soon we will have the, the, the gospel is given out in the street, just wait. And soon we will have Saudi Christians walking a free industry, worshiping Jesus. Praise the Lord. Great times are coming. Thank you and God bless you. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 